Hello everyone, this is Suzanne at God Crochet and Chatter. Welcome back. Today is Tuesday the 8th and I have a short devotional for us. I was looking at this and thought this is great and uh, kind of gives us a new perspective on a simple child's song. All right, let's get started. A church in Atlanta was honoring one of its senior pastors who had been retired many years. He was 92 at the time, and I wondered why the church even bothered to ask the old gentleman to preach at that age. After a warm welcome, introduction of the speaker, and as the applause, applause quieted down, he rose from his high back chair and walked slowly with great effort and a sliding gait to the ponio. Without a note or written paper of any kind, he placed both hands on the pulpit to steady himself, and then quietly and slowly he began to speak. When I was asked to come here today and talk to you, your pastor asked me to tell you what was the greatest lesson I ever learned in my 50-odd years of preaching. I thought about it for a few days, and it boiled down to just one thing that made the most difference in my life and sustained me through all my trials. The one thing that I could always rely on when tears and heartbreak and pain and fear and sorrow paralyzed me. The only thing that would comfort me was this verse. Jesus loves me, this I know, for the Bible tells me so. Little ones to him belong. We are weak, but he is strong. Yes, Jesus loves me. The Bible tells me so. The old pastor stated, I've always noticed that it was the adults who chose the children's hymn, Jesus Loves Me, for the children, of course, during a hymn sing, and it was the adults who sang the loudest because I could see they knew it the best. Here for you is a senior version of Jesus Loves Me. Jesus loves me, this I know, though my hair is white as snow, though my sight is growing dim, Still, he bids me trust in him. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me, for the Bible tells me so. Though my steps are oh so slow, with my hands in his I'll go. On, on through life, let come what may, he'll be there to lead the way. When the nights are dark and long, in my heart he puts a song. Telling me in words so clear, have no fear, for I am near. When my work on earth is done and life's victories have been won, he will take me home above and then I'll understand his love. I love Jesus, does he know? Have I ever so told him so? Jesus loves to hear me say that I love him every day. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me, the Bible tells me so. I hope you've enjoyed that devotional today and the senior version of Yes, Jesus Loves Me. I remember many moons ago when I first became a Christian, I was 25, and I sat in on the kids' classes. I learned the little Bible stories. I sang the little songs, and my heart was light and happy and filled with the Spirit. It was wonderful, a wonderful time. And oftentimes, I think back to that, like, I want to have that same enthusiasm to sing those songs, to read those stories, and just take it deep inside my soul and know that Jesus loves me. Yes, indeed. The Bible tells me so. All right. I decided last night, I have a couple of these disc cloths that have been waiting for probably over a year to get finished. Shame on me. But these are the knit corner. Um, you start out with four stitches and, and you add, and now I'm decreasing it back down. These make such soft, wonderful disc cloths. They last a long time. They wash up nice. So I thought, hey, you know, I got those laying there in the evenings. That's a good thing for me to do while I'm watching TV. 
whether I do one row or 10 rows is making progress. And my goal is to get my two dishcloths done. Let me grab the other one. It's right here. Okay, and this is another one. And this one is the same style. It has the, the lace edging, as you can see, the eyelet edging. And I, I probably start, I'm probably getting ready to start to decrease on this one too. So my goal is to get these two finished up by, I've only got a little bit of yarn left. I may have to add some, I don't know, but we'll see how far it takes me. But those are a couple of things I decided. All right, time to get these finished up. This fall, I have uh, two blankets that I need to get finished. And I'm going to see what else I got in my whips that's working, that's works in progress. Um, I do want to make myself a little shoulder, shoulder shawl. Uh, sometimes when I sit, my shoulders get cold and a big blanket doesn't do it. And I've got a really cute pattern for a shawl that I'm got in my mind to do. But um, I want to get on my knitting machine maybe later today, tomorrow, I want to start making a drop stitch scarf. They are absolutely beautiful. Don't look too hard to do. So I'm going to challenge myself, put myself out there and see if I can do it. I will do it. I'm determined to do it. And isn't that the way it is in life? We have to be determined. We have to challenge ourselves sometimes. We have to grow in all areas of our life. That's what Christ wants us to do, to go, grow, and go for Jesus. And when we do that, when people see us glowing, that is attractive. Our light draws them. What, what is it that's in you that makes you who you are? And when you tell them, they go, oh, that's nice. No, oh, that's nice. You know, don't get any on me, but that's nice. <laughs> people are fickle, aren't they? Anyway, I wanted to come on today and say hello. I got my hair washed yesterday. I decided I'm going to let my, my gray keep growing in for uh, maybe till after the first of the year just to see what I look like in gray hair. I've earned it. I've hid it <laughs> for many a year, but I think maybe it's time. Wouldn't it be pretty if all this turned gray like have a gray streak down here? Yeah, that'd be cool. Looks like one of those cats with the streaks in his hair. The really pretty ones. All right. I've yicked yacked enough. I'm in a fairly good mood today. I had a rough morning. I've got to do my exercises and we've got to go for a walk today. So Ron usually walks further than I do. But I did walk a half a mile day before yesterday. And I was pretty proud of myself. All right. Well, you take care. You have a blessed day in the Lord. I'll be back on tomorrow with another study in our series on Revelation. And we will be starting to study the church at Philadelphia. Like I said, we have two more churches to go. And uh, then we'll be winding up the seven churches that we and what we've learned about them. So you take care. Have a blessed day in the Lord. Lord willing, I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.